Imagine that you're an eight-year-old me and you're playing your favorite game, Super Mario Galaxy. In between levels, you stop at the observatory to put down your controller and go to the bathroom, only to come back and find Mario fast asleep on the floor right where you left him. I'm a tired. 1990. Ah, oh, mamma mia. Of course, I now know what idle animations are and how they work, but as a kid who just thought video games were run on magic, this was such a cool discovery. It was like Mario was a tiny little guy who lived inside my Wii and went to sleep as soon as I wasn't playing his games. An idle animation is exactly what it sounds like. A set of animations that play when your character isn't performing any actions, aka idling. Typically, an idle animation communicates a character's breathing or bouncing and shuffling from foot to foot. Some games include other fidgets and animations that only occur when a certain time has passed idling, just like Mario who would eventually fall asleep when left alone long enough. Just like any other animation, a good idle can tell us a lot about a character, even if it's through the smallest of details. The pace of their breathing can tell us if they're calm and controlled or quick and twitchy. Games with static characters just are so lifeless. I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. This thing's not moving at all. How am I supposed to know anything about the Lexus? <laughs> the fidgets and other animations, however, give animators a perfect chance to enforce a character in much less subtle ways. Sonic gets impatient with you, the player, even if it's just after a few seconds idle. Link will stop and inspect his ancient arm because even if he's used to it, it's still completely alien to him. Sam will stand with a different posture when he's carrying the weight of cargo. God, this is heavy. The Pikmin will bounce playfully on top of a resting Ochi, and Jin will clasp the hilt of his blade while inspecting his sword hand, which quivers slightly. Maybe this implies that he's thinking of all the lives that he's taken. I don't know, but all these details make these characters unique and all their situations all the more believable. Games with multiple playable characters can use idle animations to subtly emphasize their differences. Sonic isn't the same as Tails, who isn't the same as Knuckles. Michael stands tense and paranoid, while Franklin is relaxed and kind of just hangs out, while Trevor stinks. Of course, first person games aren't at all excluded from some idle flair, but it's often done in much more subtle ways. The sway of a gun can convey its center of mass and the speed of a character's breathing. A weapon might be shaky and twitchy, maybe implying a burst of power that's just waiting to be released. Fingers impatiently fidget, grasped around a walkie-talkie. Knuckles are cracked and nails are picked. Sometimes the weapon in hand itself is brimming with character and moving parts. I think first person idols can be much trickier to nail. Pun, uh, genuinely unintended. <laughs> And I think that's just because it's a lot more unnatural to have a character hold their hands up to their face where it would be visible. Like, no one's standing like this. Unfortunately, creating a unique idle animation becomes really difficult when catering to your own custom character. Obviously, it'll be impossible for animators and developers to know what kind of characteristics your character would have and how they would behave. Usually, they just get the usual set of sways and stretches, which isn't very exciting, but at least it's not inaccurately portraying the character that you created. Maybe it's a little bit boring, but it's probably for the best. The last thing, which is like barely related, but I thought was interesting, does anyone remember the NPC trend that was popping a few months ago where people would like bob up and down? Like, it's like, where did that come from? Who does this? I'm an NPC and this is how I idle. I think maybe it's like a reference to like old RPGs, maybe like Pokemon games. I know fighting games, they like kind of stand like this. There are definitely games where that happens, but it is like so uncommon nowadays. Anyway, let me know if there's any cool, unique idle animations that I missed, uh, things that you found in games. Is it something that you look out for in every game that you play? Or is it something that you kind of accidentally discover when you put your controller down to like text someone and you look up and while you're sleeping, something like that. If there's anything you should take away from this video, it's that Donkey Kong is a gamer. Aww. Filthy, filthy gamer like the rest of you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everyone who stuck around. Appreciate you all so much. So much. You look very handsome today. Thanks. You need a goddamn ton of time and everything. Great fruit. God motherfucking. Damn. You shrimp. All I want is seven thousand dollars what up reddit it's kendrick